talked about the separation of powers and you've been, been described as a fair and fearless judge. Can you tell us why the independence of judiciary is so fundamental to the separation of powers? Um, well, you, you could have, um, uh, you could have um, judges who are not friends of the government or friends of anybody in parliament who are appointed, and so in that sense they're in, in, impartial. Um, but um, uh, you could become partial pretty quickly. When um, uh, in a totalitarian regime, when Mao Zedong's uh, communists won the civil war in China in 1949, they set about establishing a system of government based upon their belief in uh, Marxism, which is a, a complicated doctrine about which there are differences of opinion. But the firm belief of those who uh, took power and wished to make a better China in those days was that this had to be a Marxist society. And the view they took was that to achieve that end, judges in China had to apply not only the law, but had to be faithful to the policy of the government. Now, once you allow that, then judges are no longer independent and impartial. Now they are agents of the government in executing government policy. The government should execute, formulate policy and execute it. You know, government A in New South Wales might decide that more money should be spent on education. So they get more money for education and they spend it. Government number two that's elected later uh, might think instead of spending money on education, it should be spent on childcare or the problem of um, immigration or on defence. That's the function of government. It's not the function of judges, which is strictly to apply the laws. So judges don't care about what the policy of the government is. Judges care only about what the law says, what it means, and how to apply it. If uh, you have what Mao thought was a good thing for China in 1949, and what the Nazis did in Germany between 1933 and 1945, then uh, you, don't have an, you don't have the rule of law being applied equally. You have the rule of law being applied in the way that another arm of government, the executive, the one that executes the actions of laws, wants it applied. So the rule of law falls over straight away. Is that clear? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm.